Let's make it. We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. <laughs> a plastic jar. <laughs> Coloured paint. <laughs> a pencil and some paint brushes. <laughs> some gloopy glue. <laughs> and a rolling pin and an old tray. Whoa! Now, we also need some air-drying clay, and you can get that from an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. <laughs> Here it is. There's our air-drying clay. Now, to make a gruesome jar like this one here, you first need to get a ball of air-drying clay and then roll it out onto an old tray. Let's get our rolling pin and start rolling. <laughs> Make sure that you roll out enough clay so you can fit your whole hand on top of it. There, that looks about right. Now let's get a sharp pencil and we're going to draw around our hand, pushing firmly into the clay. Now this cuts out the shape of your hand. Now draw a bit bigger than your hand shape so it looks even more monster-like. Look! There's our big hand shape. Now, very carefully, we need to peel away all the rest of the clay around the hand shape, but be careful, you want to leave all of your fingers safe and sound, so don't break any off. Now, get a plastic jar and very carefully bend the fingers of the clay around the jar. Right, here we go. Let's put it on. Like that. As you push it down, it looks as if the fingers are holding on to it. Now, you can give the fingers a bit of a squeeze, like this, to make them look even better. Then, let's put some blobs of clay onto the hand and the bony parts of the fingers. <laughs> and you can even squeeze the end of the fingernails to make them into spooky long nails. Now, keep going until you've done all of your fingers and then leave it till it's nearly dry. <laughs> You're now ready to paint your clay hand a spooky colour, like gruesome green or whatever you like, really. And because it's not quite dry, it's easy to take off the hand and paint underneath it as well. You can add some extra detail to your gruesome hand by painting dark green on the fingers and the rest of the hand and black paint on the fingernails. Now, when it's nice and dry, you're ready to stick your gruesome hand on top of the lid. Let's do that with gloopy glue. Goes. Now we can cover the whole thing again in another layer of gloopy glue. This will make it extra strong. <laughs> when it's all dry, you can use your gruesome jar to keep all of your gruesome stuff in. Ooh, like these toy creepy crawlies. Eek! How about a beastly hairy hand? This is made with brown paint, and the pencil scratches on the top make it look hairy. Or perhaps a bony skeleton one. This spooky skeleton's got extra lumps of clay that make it look bony. Gruesome jars, great fun to make and spooky too. Ooh! <laughs> Try making a surprising picture using the lid of an old packet of wipes. <laughs> 